today I have a troubleshooting video for flying geese. But while I was edit editing it, I noticed that I had left off something and I wanted to preface the video with a little chat about that. All right, so first, this is a flying geese unit. Flying geese unit, it's not a goose. A goose implies one, but this is multiple geese flying in a V. It's a geese unit, flying geese unit. All right, so pet peeves out of the way. This is a pretty perfect flying geese unit. And the reason you know you've done a good job is when it comes out the right size, you have a perfectly straight edge happening right there at the bottom, and you have at least a quarter inch of space right here. Um, and I have an entire video tutorial about how to make four at a time flying geese, and I include all of my tips that I know to get them looking like this. Even when you follow those tips, mistakes, tiny mistakes that you don't even know what they are have happened and your flying geese will come out a little wonky, a little skewed and not so amazing like that. So that's what this video is, troubleshooting that when that happens and how to correct it. All right, so what I forget to leave out of that video is the way I'm showing you how to correct it is only okay to use if you have this space right here. If you don't have that space, you wouldn't be cutting from this side. Instead, to correct your flying geese, you would cut, you know, from the sides and um, this this side up here. So I just want to put that out there. Only use this troubleshooting video when you have a quarter inch of space right there. That's all I have to say. On with the video. We're talking about um, flying geese made four at a time, and um, when you're doing really well, which isn't always <laughs> for all of us. They come out looking uh, like this before we trim these edges off. So what you're looking at is a perfect straight edge right there. And there's at least a quarter inch or maybe a little bit more between this point and this edge where all I would need to do is just kind of go around the flying geese unit and it would come out the right size. So it would come out like that. So that is when you've done a really, really great job. So I have a whole bunch of different tips on flying geese and you can find that in my how to make four at a time flying geese video. And I really break it down in that video on all the little tiny things that you can do um, that help them come out um, just like this. But being things <laughs> the way they are, you can't always 100% of the time make them come out great. We can only try to get that. So when they don't come out great, um, they look like this. And I can't exactly tell you why it came out looking like this. And what we're looking at is that this edge is taller than this edge. And you've got this little overhang happening right here. So I'm not sure exactly where this guy went wrong. Did I put the square down in the wrong place? Um, did I did I sew it a little cockeyed or um, is this a pressing mistake? I'm really not sure. I followed all of my rules for flying geese and it still came out this way. All right, so when this happens, put the flying geese unit long ways and you're gonna, so my flying geese unit is two inches wide so I want to find the two inch marking. If yours is three inch or three and a half inch, that's the marking you would find on your ruler. But for me, it's two inches. I'm going to put that two inch marking on the edge of my patchwork piece or my flying geese unit. And um, I'm going to zoom in so you can see this, but you can see that it's not just off right here at the overhang. It's off the whole, the whole piece. This side the short side is actually accurate, it's two inches, and this is where I've made my mistake. So I'm just going to hold my ruler down and cut that mistake off. So it's just a tiny little sliver, but that tiny little sliver can mess you up even more if you continue on sewing them into on, onto other units for a whole block. So for that reason, I when they every time they have that little bit hanging over, I want to stop and check them, which it's not, but maybe a quarter of the stack of flying geese come out not quite right. All right, so now it's closer to being like the perfect one, still has a tiny bit 
of a problem right there, but I know that this side and this side is accurate, so this is going to get caught up into my seam allowance when I sew it um, to another unit, and you're not going to be able to see this mistake. I've still got my quarter inch of space, or a little bit more, right here so that I don't lose my point. So the points are the most important thing to me. So that is one of the troubleshooting uh, flying geese tips that I have. Um, here's another one. And this one's not so bad, but same thing. Let me just show you one more time. I'm gonna cut these little side bits off. They're called dog ears. I'm gonna cut the dog ears off, put it a uh, long ways to me, find my two inch line, put it on the edge of the patchwork piece. And look, on this one, it's a little bit different because I only need to cut off the dog ear. So in this mistaken flying geese unit, um, this, the, the high side was the correct side and the short side is actually wrong. So now I've got, I'm missing a tiny little bit right there, um, which again, I can hide in seam allowance, but I need to, you know, just be careful. I, 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 there's no chance of me losing my point on this one because I've got, you know, plenty of space, but just kind of watch when they have that overhang. Some, like I said, some of them come out just right and some of them don't. Oh, that one's actually the worst one I've seen so far. So I don't know where I went wrong. I followed my rules, <laughs> but they still came out um, a little wonky. So anyway, that's the tip. Mm -hmm.